Welcome to my Learn Cursive Scripts course. It's a free YouTube video I put together. There's also a free worksheet as well that goes with it. So it's best to download that first, that's in the description below. Uh, go to my website for free download. Um, it's 30 minutes long. I go through the pens I use, uh, warm up strokes, and then lowercase letters, uppercase letters. So yeah, it's about 30 minutes long. Um, but hopefully that will give you a good introduction and then you can go away and practice all those bits and bobs. Or just use this as a reference tool to keep coming back to, to if you get stuck with any letters uh, while you're working through the worksheets. So uh, yeah, let's get, get, get all your materials ready, paper, pens, um, print off the worksheets and we can, uh, yeah, get side. First up we have um, pens. This is the pen I'm going to be using in this demonstration. This is the Pentel N850 permanent marker. I like this marker because of the shape of the nib and also because it's just really good consistent ink flow. And this is <laughs> this is the only one I've actually ever owned because um, it just lasts forever. Um, and so yeah, it's just a really good one. I recommend this one. Um, it also comes in silver and gold with a con similar similar shape nib um, and that consistent flow of ink as well or paint in this case. Um, I use this on objects as well as sort of dark paper. You might see my previous video where I did a, wrote on some vinyl, a vinyl record. I used this gold pen for that. And um, yeah, it's really good. Recommend them. I get them hold most art stores online or in the shops, reasonably priced. Alternatively, you could use a, a Crink K42, similar shape nib. I just prefer the Pentel one. That's a good alternative. Your you know, Sharpie marker, fine point Sharpie marker. Most people have one of those hanging around. And the Molo Tau, I think it's about 227HS. Similar to the Crink one, really. Uh, good uh, paint marker. So grab one of them and uh, let's get started. Okay, I thought I'd just quickly go through some terminology that I may use as I'm talking about the letters and so you don't wonder what I'm going on about. So what we've got here on these worksheets, you've got, you've got three lines, or you've got a well, thing of the X height, which is the height of like A's and uh, O's, um, which sits on the uh, baseline, which I'm just indicating now. Um, so that's where we let us sit, the main part of your let us sit. Uh, that's the X height I just drew there. Um, so above that we have the ascenders, so the, anything that goes above those, like the H, uh, the top of the capital letters. And then we're below that we have the descenders, which go below the line, so Y, P, G, things like that. So I may use any of those uh, in this, so that's to understand. You can look online if you want more information about that. Okay, before we get into the uh, lowercase letters, we're going to do some practice strokes. So here we just start off with just a simple line, following the guidelines, the angle on the sheets. This is just to get your hand ready because a lot of the um, characters use just a line in them. So this is just to get your hand used to doing those lines. So do long, short, a um, lot of letters using those. So just you know, fill pages and pages of these stuff. So next we've got, um, <coughs> this is the I shape and also the L shape. Um, the longer one is the L shape short one I shape. Uh, this is used in quite a lot of letters like A, the second part of the A, the L, obviously the end of quite a lot of letters as well. The D as well. So um, yeah another one just keep practicing those uh, big and small. Next up we have um, it's like an, uh, I suppose the end, end loop. Uh, this is, um, it will make up uh, the N, the end of the M, the end of the H. Um, and yeah, once you get hang of just doing the individual shapes, then just try following that, keeping that consistent curve, not I've been very consistent, but just the consistency of those uh, loops going. Uh, then we've got the O shape. The O shape makes up quite a lot of the letters. Um, o, obviously. Uh, a, D, G, P, B. Um, so 
keep doing those. Um, some of the, a couple of the letters use the O shape, but the reverse way around. So maybe uh, do that just to get your hand used to doing it the other way around as well as doing it the way I'm doing there. Um, but we're just looking for consistency because we want this, um, we want all your rows to try and look the same. Uh, next we move on to this shape um, makes up quite a lot of the um, capital letters. So just following the guidelines again, just go down a little loop at the bottom. Really, I'm really not very consistent on this one. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be more consistent than I would. Um, the little loop at the bottom can be as big or as small as you want. And then last off, we're doing the lowercase j shape. So this uh, makes up the j, the G, the Y, the Z, um, so just keep doing it over and over again, just get used to that shape. Um, I've only filled one page here but if you really want it to get really good just keep filling pages and pages of this stuff. Okay the lowercase letters now, I'm going to go through them one by one. So A, start with the O shape, and then you want to do the uh, I shape down and up at the bottom. That connects it to the other letters. So the O shape, the I shape. You want the I to shape to finish sort of halfway up at that sort of block, halfway up of the A. Okay, the B is just a straight line, and then you do this reverse O I was speaking about on the uh, practice thing. So you go back up and round. If you're finding out how to do just draw your usual O the right way around if you want it. I just find it easier this way. Um, normally when I'm writing a word, it's just natural to go from the bottom back up to the top. Okay, let's see on the easiest letters, just start sort of um, two thirds of the way up, round and back under. So you're just, you're drawing an O, but without the stopping a bit earlier than you would do. Okay, the D, O shape, and then you want to make the L shape. Again, very similar to the A, you want the L to finish halfway up the letter. The D doesn't always, doesn't start right from the top of the grid lines, even though I'm doing it very close. It's slightly smaller than like the B. Okay, the E, start halfway up the letter and then curve around and then start doing the O shape. F, you want to start halfway, I don't really do, I'm, ignore this first one. You want to start <coughs> halfway along the X height, head towards the top in a sort of curve, straight down, curve at the bottom, and a little joining um, curve join into the next letters and then curve round up to the top straight down curve round to the bottom back to the center Look at that joining curve which goes from the halfway up the x height to the halfway up the x height which is a little curve in it okay g start off with the o shape and you want to do the j shape so straight down curve and back up to the halfway of the x height halfway up that circle because that's where it would join onto the next letters when you're uh, putting them together. Okay, H, straight line, and then you want to do that N shape, finishing halfway up the X height. I, super easy, just putting a dot on top of the I shape that we've been doing earlier. So the more practice you can put into the shape making process, that when you come to the letters, it's just a case of joining those together, those different shapes together to create all the alphabet. And J is that 
looping bottom shape that we've been doing in the practice. Just sort of dot on top. And just use those guides to help you make those lines straight. We're just building up our muscle memory. So we just have to do it without thinking too much. Okay. Okay. So we do um, a straight line down. And then we do like a, a small O, like we're doing the B, but half finishes halfway on the X height, and then we do a little um, little kick out, down and kick out, to join it onto the next letters. L, just the L shape. doing the practice just straight from the top down and kick up halfway I've gone a bit further there but should finish halfway up that X height M line straight down and then you want a slight uh, a curve we didn't do this in practice but just that curved um, up and curve without the um, flick at the end so just finishing at the bottom the and the end shape is slightly narrower than you've done on the H, end of the H. So down, up, towards the top, curve over and finish at the bottom. You've got three steps here, so you've got down, up and the curve and finish at the bottom, and up and then curve and join it to the next letter. The end, very similar. Straight line down and that end shape. Finishing halfway up the X height. The O shape, we did that in practice, but this one, once you get to the top, instead of letting go, you do another loop across halfway across the O to join it up with another O, or it would be with other letters. So it's like a loop and then a smaller loop on top of it. P, straight line down, and then the O shape. You don't want to go right to the bottom, you want to just above that line, and then do an O shape. Like the B, it's a reverse O shape. But as I said, if you're having problems, then just do the O the, the way you, you find the easiest. So the Q is the O the right way around, and then this is a shape we haven't practiced yet. Straight down, curve, and then out. It's a little bit like the bottom of the F. Straight down, curve back into the the um, base line, and then flick up to the halfway up to the uh, halfway up the X height. R is a shape all on its own. Start either the base line or halfway up, just above the X height line. You then want to go down slightly down to the right, and then do the shape that you find at the right at the ends of the um, at the end shape. So you go up, stop, down a bit, and then flow down to the right. And it takes a little bit more practice. This might be one you need to you might need to trace over my guide sheets to get the actual technique nailed. And the same with the SS is quite a tricky one as well. That goes just above the line as well. And then you sort of come straight down, but with a faint curve in it, and then you just go curve around just above the line. the line down with a slight curve in it and then round and back over the line. T is the L shape but we're not going right to the top we're going just above the um, X height or about halfway between the X height and the uh, ascender line and then doing a crossbar on the um, 
right you you're doing a, an eye shape and then you're doing another eye shape so pretty simple letter so go halfway up letter and then halfway up that again okay the a line straight down and then a line up following the uh, guideline and then the little uh, going sort of back on yourself and then round on a loop that would join up to the next letter down up and then a sort of slight curve to the center of that excite so w you're looking at the eye shape like down and curve, down and curve, and back up to the top. And then like the same with the V, but on the curve, you want that little loop. So this is where it joins onto the other letters. So you do the I shape, I shape again up to the top, and then do a little curve on to the next letter. That finishes sort of halfway on the X height. Slightly narrower. Um, eye shape uh, because there's two of them like was with the M X just two lines crossing pretty simple so I seem to find it hard to get consistency there between that first one and the next one okay Y looking at doing the eye shape again down a curve and then the J so down, curve at the bottom, and then back up to the center of the X. Right. So it's like you're doing part of the U as well. So down, up, and then that eye shape. So once you now certain type of letters, you can then it's easier to progress on some of the other ones. So there's two types of X's. This X is a curve to just above the um, baseline and then doing part of what you're doing with a J but with a curve rather than a straight line back up to the center of the X height or alternatively you can do a little curve across the um, X height go diagonally down to the um, next corner and then do another flowing curve okay onto the uppercase now let's start with a so we want to do that shape we're doing in practice but the other way around and then just straight down and a little uh, crossbar there that's just just below the X height and you can always freestyle with this so do it the other way around, go straight up, back down, and then you know, a little little flourish there, join them together. But once you get confident, you can just start adding your own little elements, and that gives it its own style. So be here, start at the top of the X height, go to the top of the ascender, and then you want to do um, a sort of bowl, like you're doing a reverse O, and then another reverse O, and landing just under that line. So that line that goes you come down you just above the um, uh, baseline there so you can when you do the second bowl of the B it lands just underneath it C you want to start right at the top curve around up to the top of the again and then down to the baseline and round if you're joining it to other letters you sort of finish halfway up there I seem to be finishing up the X height Okay, D, so you want to start not right at the top, but just below, about two thirds, down, do a little reverse curve, and then back over the top of that line. So we'll take a little bit of practice. The apples are all a little bit harder, 
but just um, yeah, down to a little curve. It's a little bit like a j small version of that J shape. You just want to curve back over yourself. So alternatively, you can come down, not do that, so you can just go back on yourself and then round, or straight line and then just do the VD. So there's options available. Um, I haven't put them all in the worksheet, I'm afraid, but just you know, get that that shape shape nailed, and um, then you can just start deviating from it to make it your own. Okay, the um, E shape. I've slightly off making it quite flourishy, so you can you sort of start from the um, X height, sort of curve over to the right, up to the top of the ascender, curve down to the top of the X height, and then curve to the baseline then sort of halfway up but as you see here you can just start without that if you want to don't have to add that other bit in or you can start like you did with the C but just in a smaller version so you go halfway up to that center line and then hit the top of the X height and then down to the baseline so the F very much like this this is gonna be like the T so you start at the top of the X height curve around up to the top and then do that shape we've been doing in practice and then do a crossbar so halfway up the ascent up towards the sender curve around back up to the top of the ascender and then down to the bottom of the baseline and then a crossbar okay g so g we're going to make a c first part of it so starting at the top curve round up to the center down to the baseline and then we make a J shape so you sort of come up uh, nearly to the top of the X height and down to the bottom and then back up to the center of the X height so it's just getting that top of the ascender top of the X height back up to the top of the ascender and then back to the bottom. And like with some of the other letters, don't have to do the loop. You can just start some sort of halfway between the X height and the sender height. H, quite complicated this one, but it looks really good. So you start off with this sort of um, just above the X height and then up to the top, straight down, curve to the X height follow that along, curve to the top and then straight line down. Explain it does sound quite hard. But alternately you can just do two straight lines and a crossbar. Still looks good, um, but a little bit easy to do. But you know get get confident with just doing those shapes. You know, I've broken them down into the worksheet, so you know, take your time. Okay, I that little up as well, and then straight down. J very similar to this. Swirl up to the top, and then that curve shape that we've been doing in practice. And you can make that curve at the bottom much bigger if you want it to. Just getting the, the that common shape nailed, so then you can just emphasize certain parts of it. Okay, so do an eye with that up flourish, straight line down, and then you from the center line you you curve down to the top of the X height and then you uh, do that sort of part of the end shape. So you start from the X, top of the X height down and up again. So do the eye, curve down to the middle and then up. Curve down to the middle. Up. Yeah, how I was a bit about this one is that starting from the top of the ascender sort of giving that a nice curve. I don't mine seems to be getting worse for some reason. I think the second one was best out of that one. 
Okay, the L, like we've been doing with the G and the C, is sort of curve round up to the top and then bringing that line down, following the guy line, stop and then over. And a little sort of curved horizontal stroke. You can also add a loop if you want, like we did with the D, whatever you find the easiest. Alternately, you can just take off that loop if you want and start the L like that. So sort of curve over the top and then down. Okay, M. Like the A, start exactly like the A. Then straight down, straight up again, straight down and then a curve at the bottom. So the L shape at the end, but slightly um, not following the line though, you're just slightly off, so slightly more vertical than you are when you're doing the L shape. Or totally you can take it off and just do the line down. If you don't want to join it up to the letters, but um, you can try it both ways. Okay, on to N. Start like we did with the M and the A. Curve around up to the top, straight down, and then up with a slight curve at the top of the, uh, as you're going towards the center. And with that up stroke, you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. Adding your own style to it. Give it a bit more curve. Just as your confidence grows, you'll be able to do these things. The O, just a larger O that we've been doing before. So going, um, Sorry, from the descender line, the, the ascender line, going down to the bottom, the baseline, back up to the top, another loop going across the top of the X height um, to join it on the other letters. Alternately, you can just do an O without the other loop if you don't want to join it up. So the P, draw a line like we did with the D, uh, not starting right at the top, and then starting just to the left of that, below the, the uh, ascender line, and then curving round to just under the top of the X height. Uh, the Q, do the O, you want to join it up, you do that other loop, and then a little swirl, horizontal swirl stroke uh, across the, um, just underneath it, uh, just below the baseline. I just say I'm doing, doing both, whatever you feel looks good when you're doing actual words. R, so do that line like we did with the P, starting sort of two thirds up, straight down, and then we do Sunday send a curve around to the middle of the X height, I mean to the top of the X height, and then you do that sort of part of the end shape where you sort of go down and up again. A bit like the K, that, that bottom bit. Down and up to halfway up the X height. Down, up. S, uh, like its lowercase partner, which is a bigger version, going up to the top, do a little loop, and then just off to, going down, but just off to the right, and then do a curve off to the left and back over the line. So up to just above the um, ascender line, back down, curving to the right, and then curve, do a circle off to the left, or part of a circle off to the left. T, as same as the F, but without the uh, horizontal crossbar. So start halfway, just above the X height, Halfway up to the ascender, curve around up to the top, stop, and then back down and a little curve at the bottom. So you, we um, start 
just above the X height and then curve round to the right up to the top of the ascender, down to the bottom, curve over the baseline and then back up to just above the X height. And then we do an eye shape from where we finish. That's it, just above the X height there. The nearly vertical line down and then following that line back up and then a little curve like we did with the N. So down, up, little curve at the top of um, that line, just above the uh, ascender line. The, the W, very much like the U, Go back just above the uh, X height, and then we do that line like we did with the V. So X slightly curved, curved line going up, and slightly curved coming down to give it a bit more interest. You can just do two straight lines if you want to, which is much easier. But you know, just add a little bit of movement in there. The Y, we do that loop like we've been doing with the U. So top of the X height, uh, up to the ascender, down to the baseline and back up and then do the J shape. So down to the bottom of the ascend descender line and then back up to halfway up the X height. And then we're gonna, like with the lowercase, we've got two versions of the Z. So the first version is starting like the loop of the Y, going up to the ascender line, down to halfway up of the X height, and then doing a part of that sort of J shape. Alternately, you can do um, a sort of horizontal swirl stroke there, down, diagonally down to the bottom, and then another swirl stroke. So that makes up all the letters. So keep practicing them and then just try writing out words and stuff like that and see how you go on. As easy as that guys, uh, with a bit of practice. So um, please do ask any questions in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. Otherwise, please do share or subscribe to my channel. Um, other people who wanna learn more about lettering, uh, it'd be great. Um, but otherwise, I will see you in the next video.